Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan Finners and welcome back to the Finnertainment channel. On today's video, we're going to be installing a reverse camera in one of my pickup trucks and we're going to be doing a custom mount for this monitor you see in the dash here. I'm going to go over everything and show you how I did it from start to finish. Stay tuned. So this is the rear view camera we're going to be using. This is made by Eraptor. I have had this same exact camera here on my single cab truck. Now before I had this camera on that single cab truck, I had one of those really cheap Amazon kit camera monitor combos. The uh, camera itself fogged over without like two months. So I, I took it off and I went and bought this one. And I've had this camera on that truck for over a year now, no problems. Now on this camera here, you got a couple of different things here. You got a white and you got a green. Now you can clip either one of those and one of them's gonna be to reverse the image and the other one's gonna be lines on the monitor itself so you can keep the lines or you can get rid of the lines and so forth. That's the camera I'm using. And on this camera here, this connector you see here connects into this connector and you actually get your power and your ground from your tail light. Now once you have your power and ground from your tail light, you're gonna plug it into this video cable here. This video cable will send um, video signal and power to the front uh, of, to the inside of your truck where you can pick up your video signal and you also have power on your monitor as well. Now what really that happens there is when it sends power, the monitor only cuts on when it's in reverse and it cuts off once reverse is going into neutral or the drive. This here is your 4.3 inch LCD monitor. This monitor will require power and ground. However, you will be receiving power from the um, tail light once you hook up the camera itself. It has your power and ground input and you have two video inputs as well. We're only gonna be using one video input on this install, but if you have say a DVD player or if you have uh, another camera going up front on the front of your truck or car, you can put that in there as well. Now mounting, how most people mount these things is they'll just find a spot on the dash somewhere, use this 3M backing tape, wipe the surface down with alcohol to clean it very well, stick it down and it's mounted. But in my application, we're gonna be custom mounting this right here into a spot in the dash that's not being used right now. So that's what I'm gonna do with mine. All right guys, so the first step to install this camera on the license plate itself, go ahead and unravel the cable itself from the wire tie. Go ahead and stick that behind the bumper itself. We want a very clean and hidden install. Once we have that there, we're gonna go ahead and remove both of these screws here from the license plate and tuck the license plate bracket behind the license plate itself and screw it back down. However, before you screw it back down, be sure to center the camera itself on the bumper. And on my bumper, I have a spot in the middle here that I'm gonna center it to. I think that looks good there. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. All right, since we have the camera mounted, the next thing we need to do is get power. I'm gonna tap onto the reverse lights off of my driver's side tail light here in order to access power and ground. Remember, we installed a tailgate assist here, and if you have not seen that video, I'll place it in the link above where you can check that out. Now, once you have the tail light land on your tailgate or off to the side in your trunk, if you're working on a car or a van or whatever, go ahead and find your reverse lamp, which mine is right here. We're gonna take the reverse lamp, and we know that the reverse lamp is gonna be this right here portion of the tail light itself. I believe this right here is my power and I believe the black is my ground. I like to solder all of my connections. I think it just lasts a lot longer. So once you solder everything, be sure to put black tape or, or electrical tape over them before you reinstall everything. I'm probably gonna also go ahead and wire tie all of these wires up just to make it nice and neater if I ever have to open this up again to change the light bulb or what else. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, as you can tell, we have all the wires 
in place. I've wire tied them up. I've grunched these up together here, wire tied those as well. I made sure to pull all the uh, slack for this power wire and the ground wire and the additional power wire that we added to the reverse lights here so that when we go to change a light bulb in the future, if we ever have to, that wire won't uh, uh, limit us the amount of reach that we can get the tail light out. And so I went ahead and did that as well. Next step, just go ahead and put the tail light back together and drop it into place. Now the power wire in the video wire is leaving underneath where the tail light goes to. And I went ahead and wire tied it to some existing clamps underneath the vehicle. So on the camera itself, you can see both pins have four holes. This one has a four hole female with a notch on the top. This one right here has four male pins with a notch inside of it. So be sure to line that notch up with each other. Once you have the notch together, it'll connect. I'm not going to connect it here, but I wanted to show you that before I crawled up underneath the truck and actually connected it. Once we have these two right here connected, we're going to go ahead and move on to running the video wire to the front of the truck itself. Also, once you have everything connected, don't put this next to anything hot, no hot exhaust, uh, anything that may move over time, and be sure to use some wire ties to keep it all together. Okay, we're back in the truck. I have the video and the signal wire ran out from underneath the dash. Now I have it ran all the way underneath the frame, up the engine bay, through the firewall, and out at the bottom of the dash here. Now where I plan on mounting the monitor for the reverse camera is in this square pocket right here. Now in order to put the monitor in this location here, we're actually gonna remove the bezel. We're gonna remove all the plastics around from the monitor itself and we're going to actually glue the monitor to the back of the bezel here. And we're gonna use some trim pieces of some ABS plastic to go around the monitor. All right, so I have the wire ran through the dash here, and this is where we're gonna be putting the screen at, right here where this old plate was with the passenger airbag on off switch. Now I've taken that switch and tucked it behind the dash. I hardly ever changed it in the past, and on my other truck, I have it tucked into the back also, so if I wanna get to it, I can basically just down the glove box, it'll be right there for me. With that being said, this right here is your video and your power wire together. And that's it right here. So the power wire is actually ran from the tail light and the ground is ran through this video signal cable into the monitor. So you do not have to hook up this ground wire here. And I just have this like this just to show you guys how it works. Now I did have to plug in this power cable here and hook the power cable itself to that one wire going to the brake light that was sent through the video cable. This ground, we're gonna leave it open. And as you can tell, the monitor is just sitting here in the cup holder. Now the monitor will not turn on and off unless you pull down this uh, shifter lever. So we're gonna pull it down and you can see the monitor's on. We can push it up monitor cuts off so, so on the back of these monitors there's four phillips head screws one in each corner there's going to be one underneath this right here uh p this sticker here so be sure to take that one out as well i'm just using a micro um phillips head screwdriver to do that with And you can go ahead and throw this right here plastic away. So see this right here, the screen pretty much, it just pops out. I'm not pushing it very hard here, just very easily. I don't want to damage the screen, 
but the LCD pops right out of, of that bezel there. I think we can just take this bezel and trim it down some on one of the sides. Now I cut off both sides of this bezel here that the monitor fits in. I'm gonna take the sander here, I've mounted it in the vise, and I'm gonna sand it down and make it kind of smooth. So as you can see, I use this uh, minute weld. It's a one minute epoxy. And uh, it takes like an hour to dry. Everything is pretty much hard now. I put two little dabs here in each corner to mount the screen to the plastic. Since the back of the plastic we no longer have, this is just going to keep the screen in place. I use some double sided tape to mount the switch box here, the little controller. But all in all, it's in there. It's not going to be coming out or anything. And this is what it looks like in the holder itself. So that black piece down here is just to cover up some excess. You know, I didn't want a hole there. So that's what it looks like on the outside of the truck. Let's go put it in. All right, so off camera, I wrapped this right here uh, video signal wire up. I shortened the power wire and I soldered it to the main wires coming from the tail light. Last step is basically just to install it. Power. We tuck them in the dash in that one cubby. You're not going anywhere. Plus the wires from underneath the dash are already tied up as well. Now we cut the green wire. There we go. As you can see on this one, the green wire is cut with no lines in it. But on my single cab, the white one is cut with no lines in it. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. And uh, if this helped out, please drop a like on it. If you've reached this point into the part of the video, would you leave the comment 15 down in the description below? And uh, it lets me know that you watched it to the end. And this content is enjoyable enough to watch. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And also, uh, share this with a friend. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later. You got anything to say, Berkeley? Want to go riding in the truck? See y'all later.